Hi friends, today's lesson is on how to fix my top secret recipe chicken noodle soup. Real simple and easy to do. I know some of y'all have gone to some restaurants and they had really good chicken noodle soup. Uh, I know in the Kansas City area we have a place called uh, Sweet Tomatoes and they have some chicken noodle soup that's like the bomb you know it's like grandma used to make homemade noodles and all that stuff uh, okay for this recipe you need a one pound container of egg noodles premium egg noodles okay friends all you need to make this chicken noodle soup is one pound of premium egg noodles that you can buy in the store this one is Albert's wide egg noodles these are pretty darn good and you need two cans of these large cans they're around three pounds and a little bit over three pounds 49.5 ounce cans you need two of these you need black pepper you need onion powder and garlic powder and some salt too would be a good idea you need a large pan and obviously you need a stove and you need electric too to run your stove unless you have a gas stove then you don't need electric okay one other ingredient that you need that I failed to mention is you need one package of chicken uh, I like to go with the uh, tenders get chicken tenders it's just a normal package it can be any weight that you want whatever they put in one package similar to this you can have a lot or you can have a little that's fine and you need a skillet preferably a large one and you need some canola oil you can use vegetable oil vegetable oil is not really good for your health it's bad for your heart health or whatever clogs your arteries um, olive oil would work but it kind of makes the texture of the chicken not quite as good but it is the most healthy for you I use canola oil because they say that it's neither good for you nor is it bad for you so it sounds like and it's cheap so that's why I use that canola oil is my choice Okay, you want to take your frying pan on the stove and put some uh, canola oil in here. You ain't going to put a heck of a lot in there. Just enough to coat the bottom pretty decently. Maybe a little bit more than that. You want to take your chicken. Oh, by the way, you should have washed your hands before you started cooking, you nasty bastard. All right. Excuse my language. You're still nasty though. Stick all these in the skillet. Okay, you want to turn the proper burner on to about, oh, I'd say about the 530 or yeah 530 position approximately right there if you need to you can turn it down just a little bit if it starts splashing too much okay you want to start frying this until till it's a little bit white on both sides when that happens we're going to turn it off and we're going to take each of the pieces of chicken to a cutting board and we're going to cut it in smaller pieces put it back in here and then we'll turn our heat back on that's how I like to fix the chicken that goes in there okay you want to take your cans of your chicken broth that you bought at the store these are kinda of, kinda of expensive just take it and open both your cans okay you want to take both your cans of the chicken broth dump it in your large pan without making a mess like I just did okay you want to take one of your 
empty cans that you had. Hopefully you didn't throw it away. Stick in warm tap water. Fill this thing all the way up. I'm going to leave a little bit of room because I know some people were messy and they'll get this water all over the floor so you can stop maybe about a half inch from the top that's fine okay now you want to carefully without making a mess dump that in with your broth okay you want to make sure you flip your chicken very often and you'll see it's starting to turn white okay it started uh, kind of spattering a little bit too much here if it starts spattering too much and making a mess all over your stove and everywhere else turn the heat down a little bit you ain't gonna turn it down that much but maybe down to the six o'clock position which my stove says five but it's the six o'clock position okay now's a great time to add your spices to it you want to take your black pepper and you want to put maybe just a little bit more than half of a teaspoon in there. Make sure you keep checking on your chicken, flip it as needed. You don't really want it to burn. You can turn the heat down a little bit if it's cooking a little bit better than you were expecting we're going to turn it to the seven o'clock position make sure you're still well coated in canola oil if you're not you can add just a little bit okay for your other spices you want to take some garlic powder be careful garlic powder can be a killer if you put too much you just want to put about two dashes of garlic powder. Now onion powder, you can be a little bit more generous. Make sure it's onion powder, not onion salt. You don't want garlic salts. You want garlic powder and onion powder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten dashes of onion powder. Then take your salt shaker and I don't know, about seven or eight dashes of salt. That should be fine. Okay, while your chicken's cooking and you get all your broth and stuff here, you want to turn your your burner, the appropriate uh, burner here. And we want to bring it up to a boil pretty quick. So you can put it like on high or maybe a notch below high. That's fine. And we'll wait till this for this to boil. Make sure you turn the right burner on. I had the wrong one on. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait for this to boil. Okay, now we're going to take our chicken. And we are... This ain't working too good. We're going to take our pieces of chicken and carefully without getting the oil all over the place stick it on a cutting board now granted you're going to have some kind of mess but you can clean that up oh by the way if you hurt yourself making this or you hurt anybody else or anybody gets killed or any of that stuff it's your fault you take all responsibility for any injuries, fatalities, hospital bills, or if you get fat, it's your fault. Anything seen or unseen is all your fault. You take full responsibility for the whole deal. Okay, get you a fork and a knife. Cut your chicken in smaller pieces. Now keep in mind the chicken is still undercooked slightly. 
The reason why we cook it a little bit is because it's easier to cut once you uh, cook it for just a little bit of time. It ain't going to be pretty, just in smaller pieces. That's fine. Okay, now that we've got all this cut down into smaller pieces, we're just going to dump it all back in our pan. Whoops, and I lost a piece of chicken. The world has ended. Okay, you want to take and stick this back on the stove, and you want to take the appropriate burner, turn it back on, and we're going to cook it for just, I don't know, we're going to cook it for about probably five minutes tops, and it'll be done and ready to go in, in with their broth. Flip it occasionally. Okay, we're still waiting for this to boil. I'm going to go ahead and put it on high because I want to get it going pretty quick. Okay, you want to make sure you keep flipping this. Make sure it's still coated decently on the bottom with canola oil. I didn't add any to it. I think it'll be just fine because we just want to get the rest of this pink collar out of the uh, chicken there. It don't take that long to cook. I lied. I'm going to go ahead and stick a little bit more canola in there. Uh, it's getting a little dry. This way it'll cook faster. Canola oil is your friend. Now what you want to do is just take your chicken and cook it until it, it's just a little bit browned and you don't see any pink left anywhere and maybe a little bit browned. Uh, some people have a good eye for it and they can still pretty much be done with it without browning it much. They kind of just go to the far extents of, of just the white look. Um, it, it's actually better tasting if you can get it right before it browns. But uh, if, you get, if you have a lack of patience like I have, sometimes it's easier just to slightly brown it a little bit. It all, it's all good. Keep in mind that not all chicken that you buy at the store is good. Occasionally you may have the fortune of buying some that stinks. If it stinks so bad that you can't stand it, you know it's bad. Take it back and exchange it for another. You may even give up eating chicken for a while once you experience getting a bad uh, batch of chicken. Um, it really helps if you know the Lord because most of the time if something's bad he'll tell you that. <laughs> You're like, Brian, you know that stuff's bad. You need to throw it out and get another one. One way you can tell, one way to tell if your chicken is done, just take some of the pieces you have that are a little bit bigger and just kind of chop it in half, you can see the inside and it, it looks white all the way through. Once you get to that point, that's good enough. Go ahead and turn the burner off. Remove it from the heat. Remove it from the heat. Don't dump it in until it's cooled for at least about, I don't know, two or three minutes because you don't want to, uh, first of all, you want to let the oil drip off the chicken and uh, you also want the oil temperatures in there to be cool enough to put in water because I mean it's hard to get it to happen but certain uh, liquids with hot oil don't go good together okay now that we got a boil going here we're going to go ahead and carefully dump our noodles our egg noodles in there You want to very quickly get a pasta spoon and you want to make sure you stir it up real good. 
the first two minutes or so of putting your noodles in there is vital to try to break the noodles apart. Now once it boils good and you've stirred it for at least one to two minutes, possibly up to two, the first minute or two and definitely until it gets back to a good boil again you want to make sure you keep stirring and breaking up noodles to where they're not sticking together all sticking of noodles is because you didn't stir it very good when you first put the noodles in for the first two minutes now obviously some noodles are kind of really stuck together to where you're not going to get it apart. It's alright to have a small amount of those. I still like to eat them. They're still delicious. And that should be good. The boil's going in good again and we stirred it for more than a minute. Maybe. Now we want to uh, come over here and turn the burner down to approximately the five o'clock position if if it starts boiling over turn it down even more but usually if you put it about the five o'clock position it should slow it down to where it doesn't bubble over now you can come over here and you can uh, Take your chicken and carefully, you can drain the, the oil off with a spatula or something like that. Take and carefully put it into your soup. Watch you don't splice yourself, burn yourself, because if you do, it's your fault. It's all on you. Okay, friends, at this time, you can get a ladle out. And you can use that for the remainder of the time and just occasionally stir your soup up. You can, uh, oh, after about 10 minutes or so, you can start tasting your noodles, but it's probably going to take, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes or so, sometimes a little longer. You don't really have to boil this soup. You could turn it down and, and just let it simmer longer. And basically what you want to do, and it's the fun part of being, being a cook, is occasionally you taste your product. Just get you a small little bowl or a plate or something and just take out just a wee little bit and taste it. Noodles are supposed to be tender, not mushy. So you, a lot of people will make the mistake of cooking noodles until they're mushy. That's not how it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be tender. And it just, it'll get to a certain point to where they'll taste perfectly right and tender. You have to learn as you go because it, it, it could take you years to learn exactly what they're supposed to taste like. But roughly, you'll be in good shape by following this recipe. Now when it gets to... It'll get to uh, the point to where the noodles taste done. You can, at that time, turn it clear off. Or you can put it on low if you're, you know, getting ready to serve dinner and you want to keep it warm. You can put it on low at that point. Or you can shut it off. Uh, you can store these noodles in the refrigerator in like a Tupperware rubber made container for up to about three days. I wouldn't recommend keeping it any longer than that. I do not recommend freezing chicken noodle soup because the texture of the noodles will change to where it just does not taste good anymore 
So I do not recommend that. If you have extras after three days, old Fido would enjoy the remainder of it. So just dump it up for your dogs or whatever you want to do after about three days in the refrigerator. Okay, there you go, my friends. That's how you cook my top secret recipe, chicken noodle soup. Uh, God bless. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, don't forget to like this video. Thank you.